Hey everyone, Meocity here, welcome back. Today we're going to be going into the farmstead, having some fun, just leveling up some people. There's no real rhyme or reason to this, I just thought, hey, a little bit of movement back and forth here. We're going to get some money from the Legion, we're going to get some money from the Vessel, we're going to get some money from the Anguinarian, and hopefully they're all going to do a little bit of damage, at least I'm hoping. We'll find out. If not, well, I attempted it again, and we're going into the farm set to activate three large rocks. I'm going to see what those three large rocks actually are in there. Oh, here we go. There are some, there are stone sigils around the farm that seem to contain the comet's corruption. Go and carve more of them to keep the crystalline infection at bay. That's why I need to activate three large rocks. I also get an A plus exam for the prefects. Not all of them are ignorant. So let's get to it. Let's have some fun. And well, hopefully, eh, we'll go torchless in here. Uh, everything doesn't go haywire. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's right. I did get some of these Kraken ribbons in here. Should I be using these? Um, I'm pretty sure the Kata is going to hit level three no matter what. Might need it on the Anquinarium. And I already have a level 3 vessel, so I'm not too worried about that. But let's use these. Just to level people up. Not all scarecrows should be trusted. Who's trusting scarecrows? Alright, let's use it on the Legion. And we're going to use it on the Anquinarian. And we're going to head up and around. Nothing there. The hallways, remember, are supposed to be... Great. A clepped up. Um, free of enemies. So... We'll see what happens. I really don't like this light hue. Makes things a little hard to see to me. Um, nail strike. We can get rid of the hen, I'm and then fine. the egg turns into a hen, so that's a bit lower of a priority since the hen can lay the eggs. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Then. Let's just get our dodge up for now since that's great in these levels. And improvement. Winnowing volley, hit them all. Then. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's Blood of the Legion. I think I need two to do the move I want, so. Oh, I start at one, then I can use Vidi Vidi Vici. Or this, so we'll, we'll see what does more damage. Three to seven or two to five. We'll, we'll get rid of the egg first. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. See if we can't get rid of the changeling. I would have thought that would have deep or stressed him out. Uh, get rid of changeling. Winnowing volley should. No, never mind. It's gonna say winnowing volley should get rid of him, but not if he healed. This legion. I mean, he can heal himself, too. For a decent amount. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. There we go. Uh, 
That's a pretty good heal, so we're gonna get the Miter Antique for 500. So too will resistance. Because he got, was it two kills per, yeah, per monster he kills? Uh, we get a salary, which is 300 gold. Then for every kill that the, I think it's per the vessel kills, is more gold chance. So we're kind of loading ourselves up here. Deep Stinger for the Trophy Hunter, plus Bleed Chance on melee hit bleed, one for three rounds. Almost felt that sting. Alright, so I'm gonna go right, then... Um, I don't know if anything actually... I'm gonna use this on it, otherwise... Alright, damage versus husks. Don't know if anything actually, um is usable on that one, the scythe thing. Then we're going to go down, then we're going to go back up, loop around. That is a scary looking horse in this light. So, who do you think has seen the most stuff in their life. The Legion, the Vessel, or the Cataract. I mean, I guess we could throw the Anquinarian in there, but... Uh, da da da. Pick up the hen. Obliterated. Volley. Stealthed. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. I was really curious to see how much a uh, run like this would get me money-wise. Wheeling disengage. That gets me to the back, and we can just move her back. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. So a lot more gold, another minor antique, the onyx. Um, I'm just gonna have to leave the citrine for now and a slime core for the land dweller. Plus debuff chance for melee skills. On melee hit, debuff target for eight dodge on melee hit. Debuff self for one speed. All right. Um, if I want to take this, I have to get rid of something. So let's get rid of the key. Yep, and that's our large rock. Let's go back up. This is working correctly. Cross location under something there, so I know where two of them are. So if I just want to go around and get some actual money, uh, I'll just go around and loop. I know where the other two are now. Considering how much I spend training a few of these people, that might be the better idea. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Hungry little buggers. Alright. So... Kind of surprised this isn't going to do more damage. Oh, damage minus 40%. That's kind of why. But we can take out a vine. Be gone, fiend. Then maybe take out a crofter. Eradicated. That'll get us some money from both of them. A 
will just weaken them, we'll do with that. We'll also, uh, get rid of the corpse. Continue the onslaught. Gotta love the Grim War proc. Them all. We'll just weaken him with a knife. Hey, Mr. Changeling. I'm curious. Execute I suppose it will heal with that. I wanted to get a final kill with the Legion, but that's fine. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? We'll take that for the Lawbringer. Because anything for him is very welcome right now. Don't think I have any trinkets for him, to be honest. Alright, it looks like I can go all the way up after this. Chicken. Uh, change thing goes down since I can't hit chicken. Heal him, since that'll do the least. If we pin down, can we take out? Yes, hand goes away. And then... I'm at three. So if I use this... Nope, that just, I th it says less than four, so I was wondering if I could use it at four, but it didn't say equal. But, now I know. So, got them. And I'll have to lower it next turn. Injury, palpable fear. Yeah, notice how he's the only one stressed out. I'm pretty sure he just has a higher stress because of his martial stuff, right? Survival now, is a tenuous proposition. Of course, in this sprawling tomb. I wanted to heal with her, and that happened. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I'll do more damage with this. And then the horse goes down. And we can just continue on. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Uh, use that. Don't need the blood. Camp, so I can take this. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. A nighttime ambush. All right. Pulling blade. Produce trinket. speed. Why not plus protection? Alright, let's go use these. That way I get them out of my inventory. I'm still walking out of here with a lot of money.
glittering gold. Nice. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Okay, we'll see how these fights go. Uh, let's get rid of the crofter. Have to use a winnowing now. Let's go away. The vine's gonna go away now. Be stealth. That's gonna do much. Get a wing. And that's a win. Alright. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. So I need that shovel to go one more. So I'm just going to have to do this. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. All right, shovel gone. Hammer and chisel gone. Tempted to keep moving up. There's three more rooms, so. We'll see how bad these are. I can always either run away or stop. At least I've gotten, you know, three more shards. Gonna leave that alone since I don't trust it. I don't have the Ladonum for it. Walking out of here almost stress free with the three characters that are alive. And uh, it was bound to happen, so. Fairly nice payday. I think that was like 11,000 gold plus everything else. 15,000 with it. 17,000 with it. all things included. I got the five deeds. I got the A plus exam. Okay, got one level three. Everyone else is level two. Plot release is not got good on Quivermont. And Restless Conscience. The plume and the pistol. A bidding end to my folly, and a curse upon us all. I mean, I will just take 25 shards. I have to double check this. Okay, I do have him. I know I have a Forlorn, unless I was stupid and he died. Okay, I do have level 4 Forlorn, but having another one might not be bad. I need to do a few things because I forgot very quickly and then I'll get to the team because I'm going to go into the warrants just to level that up so we can get through that further and maybe see a few more things in there. So I know there's a few bosses that uh, I haven't exactly seen. Here's a few characters I haven't used in a while. I'm banking on very quick kills here, so hopefully this works. So now that the group is all geared up and all skilled up and stuff like that, let's go and have some fun in the warrens. I don't expect to actually be in here too long. However, we'll see what happens. And we're actually going to go Torchless on this just to save a few supplies. 
Oh, we got two more Kraken ribbons. Let's see here. Who do we want to use those on? Yeah, I do actually want to use them. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Let's go Bowman and let's go Saw Hunter. Off to a wonderful start. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. All right, well, only one way to go. Watch well your step. Done. At least the hunger checks helped. Just use those up. All right, we got Darkest Dungeon 2 along with Surprise. Lovely. And he doesn't move at all. And I have the thing on him where he acted first, so if that would have been great. And now I can't use Bloody Ambition how I would have liked. So let's get a bleed on the Carrion Devourer. Which would have been a crit, it looks like. Seven bleed on him. There we go. And Hunter Salutation. That'll get a repost. She's not where she's supposed to be, but we can bleed the Swine Drummer. And then, if everything doesn't go horribly wrong... see what the drum or not the drummer the bowman can do on his turn Soothe. forgot we can repost him like just drumming things all right back by two kind of in place now expunge Let's get rid of him. As the enemy crumbles. I don't need to do Into the Wound on the Drummer, so let's do Bloodletting Teeth on the Carrion Eater, because he's who we can hit with that. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Then, switch over to Bleeding Arrows. Did I just find a hack with the Bowman by accident? Oh. My. Okay, I can only do it so much around. That's actually good to know. Uh, we're gonna do the kill. Annihilated. But the bowman can get four heal around with that. That's that's ridiculous. Not what I meant to click, but that's okay. Destroyed. And we're done. And I think the Bowman's gonna be just Remind fine. That overconfidence <laughs> is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah, I used my torches. That's a good thing. I would be tempted to do something very stupid. That this party would not be good at. Right, we got a right, we got this blood starved leech. We'll get his bleed going. The hunter's bleed. We got the attack back from him. 
to a chilling Surprise world. didn't take out the slasher. That's fine. We're gonna switch over to bleeding arrows. I believe that's what we're on now. Yes. And the slasher is gonna go down, but everyone else should bleed. Maintain the offensive. Making the leech do something very odd. Then gonna expunge on the right. If I would have waited, probably would have gone down. Let's take him out just before he's a problem. Can't into the wound on the blood star bleach, so we're gonna do this. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. And the kill would sure shot two more. And let's throw a spear. This advantage. Give them no quarter. Now I don't expect this group to actually do too much on anything higher than apprentice, but it's working fine now. The creature collectors. I don't know why she said it. I came to this horde land to hunt, to hone my skills, and buy a modem of peace from my failures. Never killed a human before. Now that there are piles of bodies behind me, and sometimes I can't sleep. With the smell of blood in my nostrils. Tormenting. Maddening. She was just a grave robber. Just a looter. I don't know why she fought us. But I put a musket ball between her eyes just the same. There was an artful spray of crimson. A sort of strange gasp as the air left her lungs. And her body just buckled. I watched the knife in her hand bounce and rattle on the stones. I think I'm starting to like this. Maybe that's the only way to stay sane in this hell. That is very, very grim. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels. That's right. I don't have torches, and here are the coven. Oh boy, this is maybe something it wouldn't do well against. Oh, lurking fear is the move that makes him move back. That's what got disabled. Let's bleed one of them. Actually, if I do this, he may bleed out. No, nope, not quite. Unless we piercing arrow. A powerful blow. That's two down, right? Because of the bleed. <laughs> We just called to the coven. A death by inches. All right, expunge. Really would like to know what she's throwing at him. That makes you know bleeding that much worse. There's a lot of things. I just want to know what it is. And hit him with the sword. Foolish horrors. In we go. And driven into the mud. And to the next room. Don't give me the torch. Now I'm really tempted to do something stupid. Paid for in. I'm really tempted to do something stupid. It'll help with costs. Just not sure what I'll get. Alright, let's teeth rake him. That'll put a seven bleed on him. Drive him forward. I expunge. No, we're not gonna do that. Bleed the manservant. 
dies with one bleed. Messenger goes down on his next turn. I yeah, I am on bleeding arrows. So they all bleed. Everything but the sycophant goes down on its turn. Of course, of course I get it. That's what I get from messing around. That should teach me the lesson not to go the to the shambler. Its own. Do you think I'm gonna listen to that? Eradicated. A trifling victory. Not a victory, none Oh, bleeding's gonna be a little bad here. All right, we are going to get people in their rightful spot and get rid of the skulkers, I think. All silver post. Post lasts for three rounds. All right. Can't expunge, but we can. Windmill Chakram getting his accuracy down. Lovely, lovely stealth. Not that it's gonna matter once the Bowman is in place. Teetering on the brink. That may be bad. Facing the abyss. Single strike. And none of them are getting stunned except for him. Um. Let's try to bleed him for now. Nope. Alright. Getting really lucky there. Take out the carrion puppet. No, let's let's go for the skulker. They're a little more dangerous, I think. Then if I serrated knife, I'll hit the puppet. Lead the skulker. Can I go for the kill on the puppet? Okay. Masterfully executed. Lead you that puts six. You go down on your turn. Okay. So now we just gotta focus him. That puts the bleed. I can't into the wound, but I can bloodletting teeth. Which now bleeds for two. Gently. This is how a And I can biting blade. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Get rid of... Actually, that's Viscount Invitation. Do that. Probably want medicinal herbs, if I'm being honest. I don't need the shovel, and we'll be on our way. Of course. Actually, this might work. Not in the greatest way for now, but you know. Precision and power. If I can get rid of those skulkers, I think I'll be fine. Uh doesn't really matter. Actually, I probably could have just left him for piercing arrow and then done some damage elsewhere, but once again. Hmm. 
next piercing arrow, the skulker goes down. Dazed, reeling, Yikes. About to break. Okay. Sponge one. The will to fight. Fall to you. Really? More really? Soaks the soil, feeding the evil therein. A few unlucky hits. Ah, well, things happen. Obliterated. Take what I can. I'm not going to the Shambler anymore. A dizzying fall. Can't use the herbs on this, right? Okay. Yeah, going to the shambler with this would be a bad idea. I did get my two trinkets back. Okay. Some experiments should have never happened. You are doing so nine thousand gold. Cover some costs. Got some heirlooms. I'm not going to complain too much, other than Runeville dying. Stress well marked, minus virtue chance, plus Husk Slayer. Chauncey did hit level three. Finally, Medical Ward is free. And the side effects are. We're gonna use that. I can. I'm not sure anyone needs it. Very long roster. Not anyone, only one person needed it. That's fine. We had a Legion die. I'm, I'm gonna give them one more chance. I have not. Like, they are great for getting gold, especially if you put that trinket on them. I have not been totally impressed with them. I'm 100% sure that's how I'm using them. So I think keep going into them thinking I'm gonna use the Vedi Vedi Vici for like a range thing. And then. I keep doing stupid party builds, so that's on me. I 100% understand that. And just because I see it, I am going to grab the higher level Arbiter. I kinda wish I had the money for these. That'd be nice. Um, but I that that's not either here nor there. I'm very tempted to go and do some ringmaster fights just for the money but those have been semi close call um so i'll have to maybe think about that and otherwise yeah i'm gonna continue doing what i've been doing leveling the areas and just kind of keeping on that because why not level the people while i can and try to build up some funds so let's throw her in there and we'll pick up from there next time, probably either leveling the Warrens or the Ruins because they're very close to hitting the next boss. And that's what I see available for apprentices other than the Cove and Sunward Isles and Courtyard. And like I said, close to a boss, so we'll probably do those. That'll be it for this time. As always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.